The short-term health of a truck driver is going to be impacted greatly by sleep because it's going to help fuel them and rejuvenate them for the next day's long haul, right? When we think about truck drivers is, is make sure that they're not only getting the recommended amount of sleep, which is going to be seven to eight hours, but they're also going to get a quality night's sleep. Because if they're sleeping seven to eight hours but the quality's poor, then it's not going to have the same effect on them. And so that's going to affect their ability to react to different situations that come about when they're out on the road. And the other thing is that, you know, they sit and they bounce around in a seat for many hours a day and that's going to cause compressive issues in their spine. So we're looking to have them sleep in, in a nice solid position where they're going to have support that's going to allow the decompression of their spine overnight. A person's either going to typically lay on their back or on their side. Those are the best positions to lay in. When they're laying on their back, we want to make sure that that mattress conforms to their spine so that the major three curves in the spine are going to be supported and they're going to kind of open up and allow for fluids to be pulled into those discs and for hydration and healing to take place throughout the night. When the mattress isn't supporting right, then those curves are going to have a tendency to flatten out. And so the downside is then we might get a little bit of pressure on some of the nerves that exits out the little holes at the side of the spine. So now at night when we're trying to focus on healing and that nerve is being irritated a little bit, we're just not going to heal as effectively and feel as refreshed the next day. When a mattress bottoms out, it's, it's hard and there's just not a lot of give and you wake up stiff and sore and not feeling real good. What I really like about this minimizer mattress is that it doesn't bottom out and not only that but it accommodates a wide variety of body sizes so you could be 120 pounds and get the same support as somebody who's 400 pounds which is fantastic and not only that but on each side of the mattress there's different firmness levels so for instance if you sleep on your back you're going to have a tendency to want a firmer mattress that's going to support your spine but if you sleep on your side you're going to want something that has a little more give to it because your shoulder and hip joints just need a little bit more cushion so that they don't get get stressed as much during the night when you're sleeping. A traditional spring mattress is the one most people think of when they think of a mattress and you know they're good but they have big springs in them that just don't have the ability to conform like some of the newer products on the market do and so when you upgrade to say like a foam mattress um, you're going to see a difference in terms of how much it'll mold and conform to your body but the downside is it doesn't have the reflex or rebound time that's as quick as say a latex mattress which is going to be a much quicker response time and contouring to your body. It's exciting to see how quickly it rebounds and how good a support it actually gives and how well it is at contouring and molding to your body. The cool thing about a latex mattress when it comes to body heat is it's seven times more ventilated than a foam mattress is and so it has the ability to cool you much better. What we know is when you tend to warm up at night, one thing that happens is you tend to sweat, right? So when you sweat, you're going to have a tendency to wake up a little more and be a little more uncomfortable. When you wake up more, you're not going to sleep as good and so your quality of sleep is going to go down. What we also know is that you lose about a half a liter of body water at night. And so now all of a sudden, if you're warming up, you're gonna to tend to sweat more, you're gonna lose more body water. That water's gotta go somewhere, right? So it's gonna go down and absorb into the mattress. So the nice thing about a latex mattress is that it's antibacterial and it is resistant to mildew, right? So, you know, when you think of these allergens, you think of people having congestion and a congested airway is a partially closed airway, right? So they're not gonna breathe as well at night. They're not gonna get as much oxygen and sleep apnea is a big deal in the trucking industry and so we want to make sure that people have open airways and are breathing good and you know a latex mattress is going to bring that to the table which is fantastic.